my dear foodies when the weatherman said that the snow is going to be two feet it's foggy outside it's gray outside you can't even see the city from the horizon and i know my foodies know this view very well from jenny's walks kitchen so the flurries is coming down the snow is coming down as you can see it came down earlier so you know what to do let's get into that kitchen and make that curry chicken and roji to weather this storm through so let's get started trini, there you go so let it snow outside while we are a trini inside let's fire that lovely drink and enjoy our dalpuri roti here with curry chicken and pigeon peas and some nice lovely condiments there lime sauce so let it snow let it snow and let's get cooking okay foodies so here is my pigeon peas and you could get them like that like this frozen fresh frozen if you have access to fresh one that's all great so just put it up there on the fire i want to give it a little scalding as you would say or just give it a little gentle boil here's a little touch of that himalayan pink salt so let's get our meat all marinated so here i have my chicken give it a good wash with lime and lemon juice and all those lovely stuff so let's marinate this a little bit so in goes a little bit of salt here i have my green seasoning or my sofrito with some fresh garlic in there that looks marvelous little hint of ginger my oregano and my chili powder in goes that and we want to add a, it's a nice curry chicken so i want to add a little bit of that ground cumin powder and a little hint of turmeric or haldi that looks marvelous and here I have some macadamia oil and it is infused with chilies so if you have some chili oil you go ahead and add some of that it just helps in the marinating or you could also use that mustard oil and you will see I'll be using that mustard oil a lot also so I'm going to give this a marinade my clay pot up at heat I want to add my coconut oil there you go that looks marvelous let us infuse some black mustard seeds, some cumin seeds. I'm going to add a whole strip here of curry leaves. In goes that. And I'm going to add a couple of Mexican bay leaf. Let that infuse nicely. I want to add in some turmeric, my ginger garlic, onion, and hot peppers. I'm going to bring up its lovely flavors of the onion, the ginger, the garlic, curry leaves, and all that is in there here's some riri peppers i add for some additional flavor some heat so this looks marvelous now foodies so in goes one green cardamom pod in goes my chili powder in goes some danyan powder and i'm going to be adding i'm going to be using this curry powder it's a fish curry powder but this is going to give a lovely flavor so in goes that and let's give this a good mix so wake up that curry put that heat on low i'm gonna let this infuse for a good 30 seconds yes that looks marvelous now everything is already roasted to perfection so what we want to do now we're going to be adding in goes our chicken our marinated meat and here is our, our pigeon peas with tomato going to add some namak there you go in goes some namak going to give it a good mix there you go and let all that lovely flavors infuse into the meat on very low heat that's wonderful so let's put a lid on this and let it release its own juice let's take a look now so you know my clay pot doesn't have a cover so i'm using one of my big old ugly cover for my clay pot so let's give this a little mix oh wow the kitchen smells so lovely you got one green herb in there and peppers now this is just something i am doing i'm adding some lemon peel some orange peel if you could add it to your pepper pot why not infuse our curry a little bit with some some citrus flavor in there Put that lid back on and continue cooking this lovely cook. look again what is calling me all that noise in there let's see what's going on with our curry chicken so here we go all we see now is just the oils in the pot so by using your clay pot i always tell you you're going to add hot water to continue the process of cooking or else you could pop your pot you could damage your clay pot sudden different sudden different temperature 
you could damage your clay pot. So don't add regular water, regular temperature water that is. Continue with hot water or boiling water. So this looks marvelous. I think everything is fine. I could take a little taste now. Lay in the hands just the way Granny do it. Mm -hmm. So remember there's water there to burn out. So now let's finish up by cooking our lovely curry. So let's take a look foodies and this is all done so what i want to do now is just add a little bit of cumin powder just like so in there and turn that heat off and let's put our big old ugly cover and leave that there that's ready for that lovely dal brew together here i have my all-purpose raw i'm going to add a nice pinch of salt or a dust of salt as granny would say now you don't have to and i'm going to add some sugar so this is going to help my my roti swell or raise or puffed i'm not using any baking powder so just give this a good mix and to this i'll be using some coconut oil so in goes some coconut oil just like so that looks about good i'm going to give this a good mix and here i have hot water very hot water it's not boiling and not to the point of boiling to bubble up but very hot so now i'm going to add my hot water now be careful you could use your spatula, your silicone spatula to bring it together. So it is hot. And this is the secret to bring your flour together by not using baking powder and it will rise. So let me just continue and bring this dough together. So here you go, this came together very well. And foodies, as you all know, Jenny's Walk, I've been around doing my videos for like three years now on YouTube. Facebook and Instagram and this is the way I always show to you to knead your flour You don't need baking powder to get a good rice. So on the kitchen counter add a little more oil And you're going to give this a good knead for like seven minutes. So hot water But the only thing you got to leave this to soak for about an hour So while you let it rest for one hour, you know the gluten form and this is how you're going to get a rice You do not need to put all that aluminum in your body I mean, we already did it while we were younger. Granny didn't know. So now that we know new intervention, new age cooking, I'm always here to bring you the best. Beautiful. So we're going to continue making our dal brie. One hour. Look at that. So, you know, I will do a lot of this and I will freeze it. So this is my filling and I do have a video on the page how to make your dal brie. Here is that roti, the flour. So let's put this together now. Let's put some flour right in there and then you're going to make your lawyers. So we're going to break them all off in little balls just like so. Soft and pliable it is. There you go. So this seems to be a big one. Now you're going to put some flour or pan, paratan, dry flour, whatever you know it as. And you're going to fill your roti. Now this is personal. It's how you like it. You like a lot you like a little bit i do not like a lot for when you're breaking up that roti the filling is all over your plate next to your gears flying up in the sky <laughs> i do not like too much but just enough to fill the flour fill the lawyer as you would say give it a good little seal just like so now this do not need to rest you're going to make this right away so here is your roti and your dry flour paratan. Just take your fingers and give it a little open, lightly. So what you're doing here is just distributing the peas with your fingers, nice and light. It's a gentle process. There you go, so this looks good. So now let's just take the bailna and gently roll our roti out. Go to the tower now. So my tower is warm and nice. Drop that roti right in there. Open her out nicely. There you go. And let her hold that cooking under there. So it's going to get a little cook under there. Already start changing color around, turning translucent. So you could move it around where the heat could be evenly distributed to the flour, to the roti. See all the pimples up now? So we're going to be very careful. You don't want to pop your roti. Gently, you scoop it in and slowly flip it over now that looks marvelous you see all that translucent color there that is where it starts cooking so now we're going to use your oil your butter your ghee whatever you're using you're going to rub it on the ends of the roti there you go that looks marvelous 
And remember, we didn't use any baking powder for this dough. So you want to focus on the ends of the roti. There you go. And take a look. You see she already start bubbling up already, as you see on the side. She's already swelling up, getting angry with me. So now let's just give it back another turn on the other side. There you go, because we have to put some oil on this side. So that's the hole we saw there. So all you're going to do is pull that down and look at that rise. You see that, foodie? So sometimes you have to improvise by holding it down. So I let it go to continue brushing my oil. <laughs> Beautiful Dalpuri here. Put that stick back on and look at that puff. Beautiful puff you get over there from not using baking powder. So release the puff, flip it over on the other side, and there you go. Hold it down again, and there she goes. Finish puffing up. So you like it dark, you like it with some brownness, whatever have you, there you go. So let me release that again, and there you go. Lovely Dalpuri roti here from Jenny's Walk. That plating time. So there goes our curry chicken with our lovely pigeon peas. What more can you ask for? Divine this year to enjoy while it's snowing outside. We're going to enjoy ourselves inside. And here, foodies, I have some lime and my my uh onions and here is that lovely lime sauce for my foodies who follow me you all know that divine lime sauce that we made there to enjoy and our dalpuri roti to enjoy and as a trainer you know what we're going to do if it's um it's snowing outside we're going to fire a nice shot so here in my shot glass i'm going to just add a nice there you go a nice drink to enjoy this delightful dish here from Jenny's Walk. So lovely dish to enjoy. Let it snow, let it snow. And let us enjoy our lovely roti here. Our dalpuri roti with our curry chicken. Nice and spicy to burn up our mouth with a nice drink. So don't forget to like and share this lovely vid with your friends and family. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook. From my kitchen to your kitchen, Jenny's Walk. Always bringing great flavors to the table. Enjoy.